The views and opinions expressed during this live stream do not necessarily represent the views of Framing the World. Individuals are invited to be interviewed for their unique perspective on specific topics, and not because Framing the World agrees with or endorses all other areas of opinion. Listener discretion is advised. Well, I believe the end game is they, they will eventually come after the websites too as well. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, because a lot of people don't realize when you buy a website like my website's FramingTheWorld.com, that's actually owned by a private company that I buy that yeah. from. And right. they can, they have deleted people's pages in the past for terrorism and stuff like that. Uh, it's not too out there to think that sometime in the near future they will erase you for, you know, if you have hate speech or if yeah. you have uh, stuff that they don't agree with, that they will remove your uh, website. And we know that they're they're removing people off of Stripe and PayPal and deplatforming you financially uh, all over. But I'm saying that they're going to even go farther than that and make sure you don't even have a voice with the website. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I really appreciate everyone tuning in to today's program. This is episode 97. So we're only three episodes away from episode 100. That's pretty crazy if you ask me. Uh, if you would have asked me in March when we started this show if we would be at episode 90. So if we had ever make it to episode 97, I would have said no, no way. And so um, that's pretty cool that we made it this far. Uh, we're going to be at 100 soon. Uh, next week, Friday, or Saturday, I'm sorry. Next week, Saturday, we will reach episode 100. So that is Saturday the 28th. You're not going to want to miss that special stream. We're going to be joined with uh, Shane Jantz, Rob Vitellano, um, Logan Prolis, uh, Lisa Plumbo, the whole gang will be back for that episode. So that should be a fun episode where we kind of reminisce on the last hundred shows and we talk about, you know, our thoughts on some of the shows. We'll show, uh, some clips, maybe, I, I don't know. It just depends if I have time, what we're going to actually show, but this has been an awesome show guys. And, you know, I couldn't have done it without our supporters, and I like to um, I, I like to mention our supporters every episode because I really appreciate them. Um, especially, there's there's a few people that have really donated the most, and those people are um, the Toronto group, the Toronto Soul Ring group up in. Uh, up there in Toronto, and then we have um, Bass Lawson and uh, Matt Powell. It's another big donor to the show, and you know what, guys? I I don't know Timothy Richardson and Gerald uh, Mackle are big donors as well, and so I appreciate that. When I say big donors, I mean like. 500 bucks big donors so uh they have been a huge blessing to this show and have made it what it is um but i have a whole list here of people that have donated at least 50 bucks and so uh, it's really appreciative uh so far we have raised almost three thousand dollars for this show which is paid for the last hundred episodes, pretty much, and this is a list of since the beginning of the show. Um, so we've raised about three thousand bucks for this show, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know what the math is if you work that out between a hundred episodes, but it's it's we've been able to pay for everything we need so far. Um, we do need to buy a few more hard drives, and uh, I want to do a intro for the Answers in Creation episode. I want to do an intro for the um, for the Christian interviews we do, uh, for the Christian topics, and I want to do an outro. So that's three uh, animations I want to create yet for the show. 
And, uh, you know, we're going to add some commercials in, but that'll all come with time. I'm doing as much as I can. And just to, just to get one episode out takes so much energy that, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. You know, a lot of people have suggestions and I've realized that these are things I need to do from the beginning. I just haven't had the time. You know, I have a regular life. I have a family, five kids. Um, and, you know, I, I, I send out all the orders myself. I do everything. This whole operation is just me now. So, um, so I'm doing the best I can. Uh, we want to make it better and better and better. I don't plan on quitting the show anytime soon. I will take a hiatus here uh, coming up when I finish my um, film my new film but since that film has kind of been put on hold while we wait for the travel restrictions to lift uh we're going to be going strong here at least till the new year and so i really hope you guys consider supporting this show and uh being a blessing to this show uh we've gotten a lot of great information out the last few days i've spent looking through the hard drives and and just kind of reminiscing over the last hundred episodes and man we have talked to tons of guests and it it's just been really neat to kind of look back and especially the first like 44 episodes were all like three or four hours long um yeah, I was going to do like a clip show, and then I started going through this material. I was like, oh, man, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go through all this. And so maybe in the future I'll have uh, these back up on my channel because uh, as of now, everything's off my channel since my main YouTube channel has a strike on it. And so that's kind of in limbo right now. But I wanted to quickly just tell you guys some ways to support uh, us and, and and be in the loop of what we're doing. This is my Facebook page. Make sure you guys head over to my Facebook page, just Paul Wittenberger, and uh, you know send me a friend request over there. We also have a lot of different uh, pages as well on Facebook. Paul Wimber, Frame the World Live, Generation Conspiracy, Health Matters, After the Tribulation, Marching to Zion. Pretty much one for every movie. Uh, and so if you want to go over there, that, that way you can get notified when episodes are released since we're kind of in a position where they're not going to be released in one area anymore. And so, um, that's just a good way to just kind of be in the loop. Um, but we have been doing thumbnails for all the shows. I think they turned out cool. Obviously, um, you know, they're not perfect, but... Uh, I've hired someone that will do these thumbnails, three thumbnails for five bucks. So you can't, can't beat that. They're doing a great job. And it's just a way to quickly, uh, reference the episode. Oh, that's episode 94. And, uh, here, let me show you one more recent one. Yeah. 87. That was episode 87, James Perloff. And then the title of the video, so you can know. And uh, if you notice right here, it's not a YouTube channel anymore because I have switched over to BitChute, guys. BitChute is where it's at now. Head over to BitChute and uh, support us over there. Um, here, let me find it right here. BitChute. And so I have 252 subscribers so far, and that's pretty good since I recently got on bitchu and i love how that these thumbnails look and so all the videos that are up there have been um re-edited at least the shows have been re-edited with the new intros and outros and uh and so i really hope you guys head over to those episodes if you missed one of them go back and watch one share these videos to your friends and family they're uh, fun little videos that I'm sure, you know, you can learn from. So I've learned a lot from this show, from listening to different people uh, talk and, uh, and stuff like that. So anyways, we're getting ready for this 100th episode. And, you know, I wanted to spice up this 100th episode. So I thought a good way to do that was to do a huge giveaway. And so this stack right here is everything I'm going to be giving away on uh, uh, on the show on Saturday the 28th. So 
If you want to be entered in for a chance to win all these things, we got the Plandemic shirt. We have uh, some trading cards. We have some DVDs, some books, a bunch of stuff that we're giving away on the show. Make sure you guys subscribe to our Patreon account, guys. Uh, we need to... I'm trying to get some more people to subscribe. And, you know, if I had just my regular audience out there, just everyone just subscribe for a dollar, man. I wouldn't have to ask for money anymore. I would just be set, and we could just do the show, and it'd be awesome. But, you know, unfortunately, it's like a very small percentage of the listening audience supports me. So uh, if you guys head over to Patreon, you can support me and be entered in for a chance to win these items and you know these dvds right here these are these are some these are not just one dvd this is a three disc set two disc set two disc set and a four disc set um so you guys can win uh products that are, they're worth like 60 bucks um and so we're going to be giving away a lot of things on the show but you have to subscribe to our patreon account before sub friday the 28th so at the end of thursday night so I guess that would be the 27th. At uh, midnight on the 27th, right before Friday, you need to subscribe, guys, because we're actually shooting the show on Friday. It's being released on Saturday. And we're going to be doing uh, the wheel. And so basically if you donate at all on Patreon or if you increase your Patreon support by a dollar, you'll be entered in or... If you're fifty dollars and up on Patreon, you'll automatically be entered in for a chance to win. And so it's going to be pretty cool to um, just kind of reminisce with you know the guys about the show and uh, and talk and show you guys some just remind you of all the different shows we've had. And so I really hope that we can raise some support uh, for this show because we want to make the show bigger and better. And, you know, it all costs money to do that. So um, that's that's what I hope to do. And so I just need your support, guys. And you say, hey, I can't donate. Guys, head over to our BitChute, Brighteon, Rumble, UgTube, and Parlor channels and support us over there just by subscribing. That costs nothing for you to do to just head over to those channels. This is our uh, UgTube channel, uh, UGTube. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but... We got a bunch of videos up there. We have, uh, of course, our backup channel on YouTube that you can check out. Uh, it's called Framing the World Live. That's what we're more than likely streaming on for this stream, but maybe not. Maybe we will be back on our main channel. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there. I think I'm just going to do it on my backup channel. Just stick to that, actually. So you're probably watching this on our backup channel. And then... Um, uh, you know, of course, you can donate through the website, guys. But today we are going to be talking with Jim Rizzoli. Now, we interviewed him a few months back, maybe a month or so ago, maybe a little bit more, a um, month and a half ago on the show. And so if you haven't yet checked out that episode, it's on Brighteon. You can check that out there. I do plan on re-editing uh, that interview with the intro and having it up on BitChute. Uh, and Brighteon as well, and, and UgTube. So that will be on there. But I'm actually not interviewing Jim for this this show. He's actually going to be interviewing me. And so I've gotten no questions sent to me. Um, he's going to be calling me, or I'm going to be calling him. I'm not quite sure. I guess I'll call him here in a little bit. And, uh, and yeah, we're going to be doing this show, and he's going to be interviewing me. It's kind of like the show Who is Paul Wittenberger, where uh, Peter Reddick asked a bunch of questions about me, and I answered. So he's just going to ask, uh, get to know me a little bit, and I thought it would be cool to make it a show. And uh, I don't know, you guys might learn something from this. Um, I don't know, I might be, might be stumped on some questions. I, I don't know what he's going to ask, so... We'll see, but it should be a fun episode here with Jim Rizzoli. And you're like, who is that? Who is Jim Rizzoli? Never heard of him. Well, you can go check him out on BitChute. He's been totally banned from YouTube, Facebook, and the likes. But uh, he has very controversial stuff 
on Bitchu. And so um, he's an interesting guy. I, 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 won't, I haven't really listened to too much of 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 his stuff but i have listened to a few episodes uh that he's put out he has his own show that he does um that he inter- updates n- n- almost daily so he has tons of videos coming out on his channel he's like me just just pumping them away and trying to spread uh, the truth and so um should be a good episode episode 97 guys wow can't believe we made it that far but uh, again, guys, I want to remind you about our phone system. So we ha- we are not doing the show live, which a lot of you guys know, but we are uh, basically doing it live. We're filming it live and then kind of premiering it um, because of my internet connection is lousy out here in the sticks. And so um, what I would like to do, since we can't really take phone calls or do the call-in show part, Uh, What I would like to do is have people call in and just kind of give their thoughts on specific topics or just, you know, if it's coronavirus, whatever, lockdowns, uh, face masks, um, any topic you want, just leave a voicemail and I'll play it when we do a topic on that uh, on that topic. We'll, We'll play the voicemail when we talk about that topic. And so. Um, I have a few voicemails saved on the phone that I plan on playing in the future, but you know, guys, you know, this is just a way to make the show a little bit more interactive. And so I hope you guys call in 480-519-4999. That's 480-519-4999. And you can call in any time of the day or night and leave a voicemail and then we'll play it online. Uh, but, uh, I think that's pretty much everything I want to say. I know this is a long intro, but I'm trying to hold off on, uh, this episode for as long as possible before Jim comes on and starts, uh, grilling me about who I am. And so, um, a little nervous. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't like being interviewed, especially cause I think he's airing this episode on his, channel so he's recording it on his side and going to be airing it on that jim rizzoli channel so that makes it a little bit more nerve-wracking but uh i think we're just going to get right to it i think we got jim on the line here and so uh yeah let's get to today's episode jim how you doing sir well i'm just doing fine without all these technical problems (laughs) yeah well that's kind of like our, our life story when we do these shows huh just always yeah. battling the technical. Yeah. But I heard some bad news that you got your or Facebook channel shut down. Yeah. See, I was on Facebook uh, some time ago, and they, they deleted me. And then I got back on, and then they deleted me again. And just this, within the last maybe week or two, I got back on again. And today they they deleted me again. <laughs> oh man, they found you. Yeah, they found me. You know, I it makes me wonder that if it, do they have to have someone report you to get rid I of think, you? I think I think what's happening is they they have people that follow certain people, and whatever they do, they're watching everything they do. Yeah. Well, for some reason, they hate you because. The last time we had a a talk, it was the reason why I got my first strike, is uh, I uploaded a video without – I just hit publish, and it was like a strike immediately just because your name was probably in the the video because it wasn't a provocative title or anything. And uh, they gave me a strike on my account for just uploading you. So I that's, did, that's incredible. Yeah, so this video will not have your name in it, Jim. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know how you know what the I mean, like I said, they're coming at they're really they're really making an attempt to come after me uh in a lot of venues. Now I, I just was interviewed by uh John Friend at two at two o'clock. And I took his he gave me the he, it was a Skype interview, not video, and he and he t- he gave me the link. I put the link up on my Facebook site. And my Facebook site was deleted right after that. Wow. 
Wow, it, the censorship is completely out of control right now. Um, I have two strikes on my main channel, and oh, which has 44,000 subscribers. And so what I've decided to do is I, I put the channel all in private because I have to wait a month before those uh, stri at least one strike goes away. And uh, so I'm on my backup channel now. But that's, this is just a temporary fix. I mean, eventually they, they will, they'll delete me. Yeah, I think what you should do is just work work from BitChute. Yeah, I mean, but you can't do you can't do it live. Yeah, so that's what I've started to do. So basically, every episode I do now, I promote BitChute, Brighteon, uh, you know, UgTube, or um, all those alternative sites to try to get my subscribers over to those channels. Uh, so when I do get banned, I can just you know pick up from there. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, I just I guess that's just kind of the way things are going now. Just yeah, complete well, censorship. If you're on YouTube, they're gonna eventually catch up to you. If if you're doing controversial stuff. Yeah. You know, and you know what are you gonna do? I mean, they they're just stopping everybody from going and doing what they want to do. Yeah. Well, Jim, I, I guess you. So you're gonna interview me today here, huh? Well, yeah. I thought you know, I thought. I'd like to bring attention to you and what you're doing uh, because here you got, you know, a young guy coming in the field and I, I don't know anything about you and, and what you do. And I, and I know what you're doing is good. It's just, I don't know a lot about how you got started in what, you know, in the, and where you are in life right now. So in other words, you, at some point in time, you said to yourself, I'm going to start doing this. Okay, and I don't know what this is. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I want I want to get back to, you know, when when did you get like an inkling to get involved with doing this type of stuff? Well, I've always been, you know, into conspiracy theories and stuff like that ever since um uh, the Clinton Chronicles came out. I guess that was the first time my my grandpa showed me that as a kid, and that was kind of like what got me down the journey of learning all this stuff and then you know as you learn this kind of information it really is life changing and so you just want to tell everyone you know like hey i you know i know the truth about these things you gotta learn and so um i guess that's just kind of where i started and then you know i i also make documentaries and so um that's what i like to that's my main my main thing is to make documentaries and, uh, you know, with the censorship and everything that did, wasn't really sustainable as a as an income. And so I, I, I switched over to this show that I'm doing called Framing the World Live. And that's what I've been doing. We're on this is episode 97 here today that we're filming. So we're almost at episode 100. And uh, this is kind of what I've been doing for the last year. Now, what, what do you what do you do for work if you don't mind saying if you don't have, if you don't want to say it don't say it but are you involved with this type of the same type of uh, stuff video stuff or yeah so this is what I do the show and um, I you know I produce ten films so uh, just people buy my DVDs and support okay. the show so you so you make enough of a living to get by doing that yeah I scrape by every month okay. Let's let's get back into some of the videos you do. What what uh, I I know you mentioned to me you did something for uh, Griffin Edward Griffin. Yeah, yeah. What so, was that? So back in 2010, um, we made the film What in the World Are They Spraying? Have you ever heard of that? What was it? Say uh, what, that again. What in the World Are They Spraying? No. No, it's a, it's a movie about uh, geoengineering or chemtrails, and that kind of. Um, that that basically was was the first bigger film that I did. I did a lot of little films up until then, 9/11 True Stuff, uh, uh, Fed stuff with Jeffrey Griffin and stuff like that. Uh, prior to that, but that was the first major film that you know had millions of views and was you know pretty popular. Okay. Um, now you did you did the. Uh, um... The the uh, the guy out in Arizona, the the Bible fellow there. You did something for him, didn't you? Yeah. So uh, Pastor Stephen Anderson, we've worked together yeah. on 
a few a few projects, uh, quite a few projects, and uh, uh, we worked on a, a film called After the Tribulation, Marching to Zion, um, New World Order Bible versions, and a few other um, Babylon USA and stuff, and a few others. Yeah. All right, because um, that's interesting. Because if you have original video. Um, we might be able to use it on cable TV here because uh, 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 Diane, my partner, has five, four shows on cable TV, and they're coming after her for for content or this or that, trying you know because they don't like the shows. Our shows deal with the uh, the topics that I talk about. Yeah, and uh, they're really mad, and they're nitpicking her what's in her show. Like for instance, December. Her show was a Christmas show, okay, with Christmas music, and and they they said she violated copyright uh, songs. Yeah, yeah, you they. See? I so, think they have to be really particular on all copyright stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's. I mean, that's something we can we can think about because I I could get your shows on there, but. Uh, I don't know if they're going to say, you know, there's a copyright problem there. Well, too. there should be no copyright problems on my films. All my films are, um, I, I uh, you know, got the copyrights for all of them. I paid uh, paid the people for, you know, if I use clips of, of from newscasters or something, I paid the, the fees, the licensing fees, and uh, all the music's original and scored. Okay, well, we could we could deal with that later. All right, I'll yeah. I'll look into that and how we how we can uh, do that. Um, you know, because if they if they you know they start taking her stuff, critically examining it, it's going to be an issue because uh, they they want to take her down. So I know that that's the case. But anyway, we'll deal with that. Yeah. Okay. So now, um, so you've done quite quite a a lot of production then. I mean, you know, you you have. It seems like you have a you have a studio, and is it in your house or? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, I had, so you work out of your house. Yeah, I had a building for a few years in Arizona, and then it just got too much. It was too expensive, and so I just decided, you know, I'm going to move to uh, Michigan near family and uh, just kind of do it in my basement. So basically, I have the whole basement to myself here, so it yeah, works out good. I, I, Right, because I I do that I do it in my basement too, uh, where where uh, you know when Skype and stuff <laughs> works. Yeah. Today it's not working, so I, I don't know. You know, I'm glad I can do this now, but I don't know what's going on. All right, so you you pretty much have have all the equipment and all the video cameras, uh, and, and all that. I like to I like to talk shop with people sometimes. So <laughs> I let I like to just ask you some questions about. Uh, what do you what do you use for your cameras? Uh, I use um, Blackmagic 6Ks. Have you ever heard of Blackmagic cameras? No, it's it's above my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> and the, yeah, they're 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 new cameras that are just amazing. But they're uh, 6K cameras. They it doesn't record. I've down resed it for this show, so it's it's uh it's 2K is what it's recording at. But, yeah. Um, All right. So you 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 have a a lot of money invested in some heavy duty equipment. Yeah. 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 Okay. And and to do real good uh, DVD stuff, I suppose that's what you have to do, right? Yeah. 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 I've been slowly just kind of accumulating all this equipment over the last you know ten years. Yeah. My brother and I years ago we used to work um, with. You ever hear of the TriCaster? Yeah. We used to we used to use that, um, you know. It was really a, a really impressive piece of uh, computer equipment um, because you can do uh, you know sets, you can do live like stuff right there with virtual sets behind you, you know, and all that. It, it was it was pretty good. Then they took us off TV, so that was the end of that. <laughs> you know, like you 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 know you buy you buy this equipment. Thinking that you're going to be able to get your your message out in a real good quality, yeah. And then you find out you can't put it anywhere. Well, especially <laughs> now things are getting so so intense with the censorship on Facebook, you know, uh, YouTube, and all the main monopolies. So. Yeah. Now, how? I, you're you're a religious person, right? I mean mm -hmm. that. 
so you're a Christian. And, and are you, did you go to the same church that Steve Anderson went to? Yeah. Or goes to? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. Okay, so you're, you're, you're in his church. Oh, I was. Yeah, I was. I, I went to it for quite a few years. I, I no longer go to it. I'm, I live in Michigan now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because he... He's, I mean, that, that batch in Zion was quite a production. That was really good. Oh, cool. So you have seen that one. Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 That, well, the, is that the one that talks about the Holocaust or is that a separate no, one? No, that's not the one. No. Okay. But I saw, I've seen Marching in Zion. I just, I just forgot, uh, you know, if that was in there, but the Holocaust, uh, one was, was really good. Yeah. Uh, I, I really liked that too. Yeah, so are, you're to, talking about he did like we we made this like little short video. Is that what you're talking about? Where he was talking about his view on on that subject? Well, he he was sitting at his desk. Yeah, and he had, yeah, that yeah, we did that one years ago, but that got banned off YouTube. But it's on it's on BitChute, isn't it? Yeah, I uploaded to the BitChute. Yep. Uh, so all these things you're talking about, are they on your BitChute channel? Well, I've been slowly trying to get videos up there, but I've. It's a it's a learning curve for me on BitChute because the, my normal compression that I do is not seeming to work on BitChute. And so I'm trying to figure out how to properly put videos up there. Um, yeah, so well, what what here's what here's what happened to me on BitChute. In the beginning, I had a heck of a time getting videos up too. And I just didn't bother with it. And then I just kind of try to see what the heck am I doing wrong? And the way I put videos, believe it or not, up on BitChute, I make them 640 by 480. I'm going to write that down. Okay. That's how I make them. And they go up. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm having a hard time with it because obviously I, I'm all about the quality. And, you know, well, you can't, you can't, you can't have be that. about the quality. You have to just, <laughs> whatever it accepts and it goes up. I mean, you, you can look at my videos and nothing great, yeah. but they work. Yeah, they work because it's the information. It's not what it looks like. It's the information that we're presenting is what's important. And right. so, so the audio gets through. If you, if you, if you, you know, get into your settings, just put on that. It's a low setting, 640, 480. And it seems to, all of them go up. I, I've never really had any problem with any of them going up since I've been using that setting. Yeah, I'm going to have to go. I'll try that because... What I've been having problems with is like I'll get a video up on BitChute, but then Brighteon will reject it because it's it needs a different file format. So I got to figure out what works best for both. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I just stick with a low setting and and because I was I was putting them up twelve you know twelve whatever by seven twenty twelve eighty by seven twenty or the higher res things and they just. Didn't yeah. work. Well, not only that, they, they just take all day and then they fail last minute or oh. you you exit out of the program accident or the 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 website accidentally. And it's like, ah, no, I, I, I know. Believe me, I bit shoot is very temperamental. Um, it sometimes it takes a while for something to go up. It all depends the time of day you put it up. Sometimes it could take a day to go up. Um, now, Brighteon, you you use Brighteon too? Yeah, I use Brighteon and Bitchu and UgTube. What? But I I'm really liking that UgTube. Have you have you looked into that? What is it? That UGE tube? No. Yeah, it's called UGE tube, and it's real. It's 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 it works. It seems like every video I upload works on that site. No kidding. So that right, one. So UGE dot com. Uh... No, UGE tube. Oh, UGE tube. Okay. Yeah. That's a, it's a weird name, that but... because you know that's that's the reason why I like talking to people about stuff because yeah you, you know you find out what's going on what works but in regards to what you want to do on bit shooting buddy on just don't just put them up on a, a low res six forty four eighty it'll be fine yeah everybody can see them and and the the most important thing about video is not the video it's the audio yep. For sure. So, I mean, the audio doesn't matter. As yeah. long as people can hear you, that that's what counts. You know. Well, so, they're they're deplatforming Bitchu, and have you heard about any of that? How they're, they're yeah. Well, the servers. I, I or think they're going to deplatform everybody. So, yeah. I mean, I don't I don't expect anybody to be around anymore. You know, I heard they're coming after Bitchu. They're, they're probably coming after Brighteon. Uh, this other one you just mentioned, 
you know, I can look into that. But it's it's like you go from one to the next to the next, and they just keep catching up and catching up, and you yeah. know, they just delete you. Yeah, but what I I've I, I, I've gotten the most views though on uh, BitChute out of all the platforms. Yeah, is it is it you the same? Um, yeah, right, right now. Well, my YouTube was the best. Yeah, and then you know, then they, I got kicked off for that ten times, and um, now the BitChute is I, I don't I don't I have about three thousand subscribers. Um, and you know, I don't. I wouldn't say I get a hell of a lot. I mean, the longer it's up there, the more you get people yeah. watching. Yeah. But once once I put a video up, within a day or two, I get three or four hundred people watching them. Well, that's Usually. great, especially on BitChute. That's great. Well, I know that. I mean, that's not bad. Now, yeah. Brighty on it's worse. I mean, yeah. Brighty on if you get ten views or twenty <laughs> views. <laughs> yeah. I but mean that's, I, I, that's that's all it is. But Mike Adams is a great guy. I, oh no, I I, just, I I think he is. I mean I don't know anything about him, but I don't know how long he's going to be able to put up with guys like me. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if he, you know, is going to allow that. Yeah, we'll so see kind of where it goes. Yeah, you know, I just I'll just have to bide my time there, you know, because they, they, you know, my topic is. My topic is the only topic that really is the most controversial topic out of all the topics out there. Yeah, no one likes to no one likes to talk about what you talk about. If you talk about that, you're you're pretty much blackballed everywhere. Yeah, and and, and I really think that they're following me around uh, wherever whatever platform I get onto. I think I think that's what they're doing. Yeah. You know, I, I I really I think that eventually. Um, they're going to um, uh, even come after email. They're going to come after all communications because Google owns your email. If you have a, if you have Gmail, okay. Um, I have a Proton Mail too, but I really think they're going to they're going to just come after everybody, on yeah. whatever they have. Well, I believe the end game is they they will eventually come after the websites too as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, because a lot of people don't realize when you buy a website like my website's framingtheworld.com, that's actually owned by a private company that I buy yeah. that from. And right. they can, they have deleted people's pages in the past for terrorism and stuff like that. Uh, it's not too out there to think that sometime in the near future they will erase you for, you know, if you have hate speech or if yeah. you have uh, stuff that they don't agree with, that they will remove your uh, website. And we know that they're they're removing people off of Stripe and PayPal and deplatforming you financially uh, all over. But I'm saying that they're going to even go farther than that and make sure you don't even have a voice with the website. And yeah. that is the future, and you can see it everywhere. It's it's yeah. putting it I everything was, uh, in place. I was on... I was on GoDaddy, and I actually took myself off of GoDaddy because it was time for me to renew. It was going to cost me several hundred dollars to do it, like seven hundred dollars for three years or whatever, you know, the whole package. And I just said, I'm not spending this money because next week they can delete me. Yep. You know. So what I did is I kept my URL. All right. I, I'm just paying for the URL, and I'm directing it to just kind of like just crappy sites you know where my stuff is you know no heavy duty uh website yeah so and yeah. that's all i can do because they i'm not going to spend all this money and then have them delete me yeah it's tough and you know i've already been uh stripe has uh canceled my services and uh um i was also part of uh, the big cartel they canceled me um so my store, my internet, my uh, store canceled me. So I had to create a new store, and they're they're definitely going after people, you know, in full force right now. And uh, I, it's not going to get better. It's just the beginning. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, but I think it's great that you know you are you're doing what you're doing. I mean, there's not many people that are doing what you're doing. You, you know, what I mean, very few people. Um, I, I'm going to really get into doing this video production stuff. Uh, I, I don't see it happening. And I think that's why I, you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to, when this video gets done on Skype, I'm going to take it, I'll put it on my bit shoot and I'm going to try to get people to go over to your bit shoot to get people to know more about you. 
uh, because you, you are, you're the next generation out there that's hopefully going to keep this going um, that that has good stuff. You know what I mean? And I hope I hope we can keep you going because that, me, I'm going to be gone. They're just they're just killing me all over the place. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. Um, you know, I, I work hard. I try to produce, you know, content that I believe in. And I, I try not to, to, you know, sugarcoat my message. Or I, I, you know, I talk a lot about a lot of different subjects on the show. Um, just anything that pretty much inter interests me. And uh, um, it's been going great. I just wish that the censorship wasn't so out of control where you could actually, uh, you know, communicate with people through the, the big companies. But it's just, I guess those days are over. Um, cause you know, I would get like at least a thousand views on every video sometimes, you know, up to, you know, 10, 20,000, but you know, now I'm on, you, you, you're lucky if you get 500 views. Right. Yeah. It's a, it's a tough, it's a tough uh, road here to get our message out. Um, and, and I feel, you know, I feel like sometimes, wow, you know, you put all this effort into, you know, making a production, but you know. 500 people is still 500 people. You, you know what I mean? I mean, to me, you know, I, I have people that say to me, I'm, I'm really happy that you talk about the topic because they wouldn't have known about the topic from any other way because nobody talks about it. I mean, and I understand that. And that's how why I like to, I like to stick with my topic because everybody's talking about COVID. Everybody's talking about the, the election. And that's fine. And I'm, I'm happy they are. Uh, but nobody talks about the yeah. Holocaust. No. I mean, nobody. I mean, it's not even, well, you're not going to last too long if you do it. So, I mean, I understand that. Yeah. You know, but, uh, you know, I, I keep trying. But we'll see how far I go on bit shooting Brady on. And, um, I mean, that's it. That, you know, if they kick me off of those, I, I, you know, I'll try I'll try that one uh, you said, um, you know, and see what happens. Because there's other, there's other ones that, that have YouTube in it or Tube in it or something in it. Um, I just, I just, there's, there's so many of them. I, you know, I try them. It, I put all this time and effort into them. And it's just, for me, it's hard. You know, it's yeah. just hard to, to do it. So what you know, are so, the main channels you're on right now? What's that? What are the main channels you're on? Oh, that's it. Uh, I'm on, I'm only on Brighty on and, um, uh, bit you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll definitely I, check out that UG too, because you can just post, uh, well, I guess you're not on YouTube, but what's great about it, if you upload to YouTube, you can just post the URL and it automatically yeah. uploads it to that right. UG tube. Have you, have you heard of Goyam TV? No. Uh -uh. Yeah. You got to get a Goyam TV. That's <laughs> Goyam TV. You can't, I don't think you can upload the videos there, but if you have a place that they, they are, you can take like just what you were saying. You can take that link. And you can put it on that site. Mm. So it's goyamtv.tv. Okay, goyamtv.tv. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go and, check uh, that the out. The fellow that runs there, his name is John. And <gasps> and we've talked, and I've been on his show. He's a character. Um, but he he and whoever got this site going, and they took him down, and they got back up again. Well, you got to so come after them. Yeah. Well, you got to just kind of put things in a million different places just so, you know, peop, other people see it in different areas. And then, um, you know, my, my goal is every video I'm going to have, uh, you know, ads to show people where to go to find more content. I, I, I don't know. I'm just I'm slowly trying to make the show better and better. Um, but that's all going to come with time and money. Yeah, I know. I I understand that. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. Uh, what What are you working on on now? What, do you have a video you're working on now? Yeah. So um, I'm working on a film right now that I haven't uh, told anyone about. It's uh, it's a, it's like a secret project film, and I'll gladly tell you after this episode. But it's uh, the reason I I'm making it a secret project film is because. Uh, I'm traveling over overseas to a, a place that you probably could guess, and um, you know I don't want to be banned from the country. I was uh, I was banned from the country of South Africa already, and uh, you know I just I don't want to. And I was 
also deported from Botswana. So oh. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to say it because I want no, I, I to get in the country what, and make the film. What what happened? What happened in South Africa? Well, I made a whole film about it actually called "Deported." So I, I, I I'll send you a copy. So I'll get your address after this. I'll send you a copy. You can check it out. Because I have a I have a really good contact in South Africa. Oh really? Oh yeah. I mean, he this guy here. Oh, <laughs> his site is historyreviewed.com. Huh. All one word. His name is Jan Lemprecht. So historyreviewed.com. Okay. Yeah, and check boy, it out. He's, this guy is incredible, the stuff he's talking about. But they're coming after him. He's going to court and everything. Uh, you know, all sorts of crazy but things. There's no happening. freedom in South Africa. That's a whole nother world out there. And you don't want to go to some South African jail. That is yeah. rough. Boy, Rape. well, I, you know, we, I had an interview with him. Um, it's on my BitChute site somewhere. Uh, the only thing I hate about BitChute is the search mechanism. Oh, horrible. <laughs> it's hard to find. I have over 400 videos or whatever on BitChute. And to find one, it's just very difficult. Mm. You know, like, I mean, I've done, I mean, that's a lot of videos. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of videos. And it's hard to, it's hard to, it's hard for me to find them. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. mean, I can't even find my own videos on BitChute. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, to be honest, I don't ever watch too many videos over there. But I'm yeah. glad people do because, you know, that's the last the last place for free speech at this point. Well, at, at this point, yeah. But, yeah, so anyway, yeah, if you, I, I, I'll get you, if you want to ju- uh, get into his Jan's site and you can... If you, I don't know, maybe you can interview. I mean, he's a ph- phenomenal interviewer. I mean, he he is really, really up on on stuff and 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 about South Africa. I mean, he could be he could be a whole interview for a video, and he could set you straight on the whole history. Of and that's South a Africa. history reviewed site, right? Yeah. Okay. History reviewed. Yeah, I'll check that com. guy out. Yeah, I mean, I can send you his email too. Um, but boy, he, I've watched some of his videos and, and they're just really, really comprehensive and very informative. I mean, he, he can go on for hours <laughs> with a video and just keep presenting and presenting and presenting. And I'm, I'm really impressed with him. So, you know, we, we <clears throat> communicate and, uh, he, he takes some of the stuff that I have and he'll put it up uh, at times on his, on his site too. And he sends out a, like a newsletter. Mm. And, he, and he shows a whole bunch of stuff. Now, why were you going over to South Africa? What was the topic? Well, we were headed over there for a missions, uh, co- a missions, uh, a wedding. Sorry, we were headed over there for a wedding, and uh, I went over there with Pastor Stephen Anderson, and he uh, got banned from entering in the UK, and then he he got around the UK, flew somewhere else, and then he got banned from South Africa, and then he got banned from. Uh, Botswana and I was kind of following him so it's kind of that journey and showing uh, that whole process we got arrested and uh, it's a, it ended up being a really good film I'm real proud wow. of how it turned out but well, yeah it was a, that, it's I'd like crazy. to see that no, yeah. no, no, is that online anywhere yeah you can find it just type in deported and you can find it yep I uh, um just uh, and the and the email after just send me yeah I'll send, send me, you deported yep uh, all the information about it um I I know I know uh uh Steve Anderson I remember <laughs> I remember watching a video he got he was coming in the in the United States from Mexico or somewhere and they they arrested him yeah and so he's he's been through quite a bit yeah yeah My he got goodness. tased at the border yeah yeah. Wow. Now he's he's married. Is he married to a Spanish woman? Uh, no, a German German lady. Oh, German. Wow, <laughs> that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Wow. He has a whole bunch of kids, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, he he's a good man. I I like I like uh, you know he he's just out there and and um. We you we know, have to respect people who even if you don't agree with what they believe in that they believe what they're believing in and. And, you know, they stand on what they believe. So, you know, you have to respect those kind of people. 
that they don't yeah. just cower and you know you know use every pc phrase so yeah i think what you know what happens that kind of is bothersome with with when i do video and stuff because because i i consider myself a christian uh you know in, in all aspects there but what happens is you you have some of the people that get mad at you because you're a christian like i, I guess they're the um pagans <laughs> yeah. which i guess you call them the pagans you know and they hate they hate bible stuff you know you start referring to the bible i mean honestly i i would love to just have videos and talk about the bible stuff but it seems like nobody cares you know i don't yeah. know maybe i'm wrong <laughs> no I mean, no you're not i mean just kind of how the world is is with the way the world is going you know yeah i mean i try, I try to you know, interject, you know, Bible information into some of my videos. And then I get, the, I get the people that don't like the Bible. Oh, the Bible's not true. The Bible's this, the Bible's that. And I'm saying, yeah, but this is the well, thing with the internet is you can't please anybody. Like right. literally every video I put up, I have, you know, the most vocal people that hate it. And it's just like, you just have to <laughs> tune those people out because they, they will just drive you crazy if you don't. Yeah, I mean, I, I have people that accuse me of being a Zionist or, or, or a Jew or whatever I'm saying. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I mean, really? You yeah. know, but this is how it is, you know. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, I get a laugh because it's like, of all the people, you're, you're going to accuse me, <laughs> you know. I mean, I've been, I've been through so much censorship, you know, because when I got started in video back in 2002, my brother and I, our topic in the beginning was immigration, all right? And we we had a good following with the immigration issue, and people, um, you know, agreed with us in, in my town at the time, city at the time, now. And, you know, it was great. But once once I once I got into the Holocaust, that I lost all those people. You know, they, they just threw us under the bus. Yeah. You know? Well, it's hard for people to to even think of that subject, you know. But when you break it down like you do on your channel, it you know it makes it very clear like it's true. Now, now I I have a question. Did you ever know Victor Thorne? That I'm what? Did you ever know Victor Victor Thorne before he died? I um, well, I, I'm trying to think if I if I interviewed him or not. I can't even remember. But I knew about him. Yes, yeah. I have his book and all that. Yeah. Well, he has a bunch of books, but yeah, you know, I, I had one he printed that had to do with the Holocaust, and and some people think he was murdered. Yeah. So that's what that is what people think, and then you know I heard that interview, and that's kind of what I thought, and then I heard that interview with his brother where he said that he was suicidal, and I was like, man, that's I maybe he did kill himself. I don't, yeah. Well, I just I I just find that hard to believe that that a, a, a person with all that potential right would, it's just so himself. why would he do that? Because his books were awesome. He was such a great writer. You know, he interviewed me once, um, and it was like maybe three months. I don't know. It was right before he died, and he seemed happy. He seemed, but I mean, of course. Yeah, I don't know. It, it was yeah, real I, I, sad I to hear but that. He, he was he was a good man, and and I I know I did a video, I did a whole video about uh, I think his book. Um, I don't like I said I don't know if I ever inter interviewed him or not, but I know I I was so impressed with what he wrote that I interviewed him. But he he's written about a lot of different topics, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I have about four of his books here. Uh, he's written on 9/11, uh, you know, the the hoax. He's written on a lot of stuff. So, yeah, and he's a well, really it, good it's writer. It's sad to see see he, you know, a lot of good people like that. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't buy it. It's it, it, it's it's funny how a lot of a lot of people in the truth of movement are, end up dropping off. You know. Yeah. And I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, that's why young guys like you. You know, we like to see the young guys like you come along because hopefully you can. You know, when we're we're gone, you you'll be the guys that hopefully can continue uh, 
out there because there's not many people doing this type of work. I mean, you're you're a rare breed, um, and it has to continue on as best as you can do it. You know. Yeah. Well, you have so, to you have to keep waking up generation after generation because it seems like it just it's getting lost, especially in this newer generation. They're just not getting it. Yeah. Look at the, the situation now. I, I look at what's happening with this election thing as a coup, a communist coup. That's what I think it is. I mean, it is a outright straight communist coup. And um, I think Trump got sideswiped by it. You know, he I don't know if he really knew it was going to be this bad. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it makes you wonder if like this whole virus was just you know, obviously, there's a lot of different layers to the agenda, um, but it seems like one of the layers was to get him out of office. Yeah, I, I, I think I definitely think the virus was the start of doing that. But you know what? Then and then I was thinking about it because you know Trump. There was an article written uh, about Trump how he was actually funded by the Rothschilds, and. Um, and he also obviously, uh, you know, went to the declared Jerusalem, the capital. And so he the Jews obviously love him. So it makes you wonder, like, are they going to give the are they going to give it back to Trump? And then the chaos that would create. And is that all part of the plan? I don't know. I guess well, we'll see. I think here's how I feel about Trump. OK, I don't, I don't think it really matters. Well, let me let me put it this way. I like Trump. I like him because he goes after the media and he and he doesn't take any crap from anybody. That's why I like I, I like him. There's a lot of things I don't like about him. OK, but I don't I don't use that against him. I just look at it. That's his personality. And I'll, I'll deal with the good of what he does. And I, I think, though, it really doesn't matter who's in office, Biden, Trump, in regards to myself and what I stand for and my videos and what I do, either one of them is not going to help me out any. No. No. And, that, and that's my point. Okay. So, you know, I'll, I'll back him and, and say that I like him, but he's not going to help me out because he's he's been one of the fiercest ones coming against us. Yeah. I mean, when you think about it. Yeah. And that's what kind of bothers me. So I, I look at it. Here's how I kind of look at the world right now. I, I look at it as everything is in God's hands and plan. Whatever his plan is, it, the Bible says that, that God, he puts in rulers and he takes rulers down. Okay? He has a plan. I kind of look at it like I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in his hand. I'm not going to worry about it. Yep. Well. I mean, that's the way I look at it. So, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Um, all right. So you got some projects you'll let me know about later, I guess. Um, and that, and that's good. And, you know, I, I hope, I hope that, you know, we can get more people to, to tune into you, to look the, into where, I mean, can you, can on, on your videos, your bit shoot site, you don't have a lot of videos there now, right? I have a, a lot uh, more now. I have, uh, I, I forget, I don't see how many, but I have a lot more now. And uh, I'm slowly adding them every day. I'm adding more and more. And it, in fact, I just noticed I do have that deported film on my bit shoot, so you can check it out there. Okay. And and your is is your bit shoot channel? What's it called? Framing the world. Okay. Fr that's framing in the world. Framing the world. Yeah. All one word. Yep. One word. Yep. All right. So I'll I'll hopefully can can direct people to there to get them to hopefully subscribe to to you. And what you're doing, because I think it's important for people to see, you know, someone like yourself doing this because yeah. nobody else is doing it. Um, well, I've been and, pushing to getting people to get over there every show because, you know, this is going to be where I'm going to end up eventually. And, I, you know, I only have 252 subscribers right now. And uh, I just, you know, I'm hoping people just come over. But it's, you know, people have to sign up and. It's yeah. that initial hurdle of getting to the, the platform, I feel, is the hardest part for people. And once they get there, then they can uh, – it's fine. 
Yeah, that, that's what happened on me. I mean, if you go back a year, I probably had only a, a couple hundred subscribers. And just within a year or so, I, I'm up to 3,000. Wow. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, you know, I remember on, on, on YouTube, I had double that. But you got to understand the topic. I mean, you know, it's, you know, you might say, well, six or seven thousand people. That's not many either. Well, yeah, when you're dealing with this topic, it's a lot of people. <laughs> I mean, yeah, not many people are really even going into that area. You know, uh, it's a hard it's a hard sell. But but I tell you, uh, once people get awoken to what's going on there, I think they they appreciate it. And um, hopefully they can see everything fits right into the plan after that. You know, dealing with that topic, and that's what I try to do. I try to, I try to say to people that the Holocaust is is the whole. Uh, it's where it began of fake news that that we can really assimilate. Like like with, with, with the fake news, they figured if they can push the whole hoax narrative, then they can push everything. And look at ten years later or whatever, fifteen years later, Kennedy gets assassinated. All right, and, and look at look how everybody bought into that. You know, and then so many years after that, you had something else happen. So, you know, and then, you know, 9-11, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they kept pushing the envelope on what they can push on us. Nonsense. And people just go along and go along and go. Along. Now, we see it. But, you know, a lot of people just go along and, and not even question. It. So now, you know, after after 9-11, so now we have this COVID thing. We got the election thing. I mean, it just just keeps going on. The not the nonsense just keeps going on, and and how people accept it. And that's that's it's really crazy how how people can accept it. But I think that people are just too busy in life. And I think the COVID thing, what the COVID thing did, is it really knocked people off a of balance of of just life. And so that. So they're, they're more concerned with life than, you know, what's going on in the art topics. You know what I mean? They're, they're worried about going here, going shopping, uh, having people over. And I think that that just creates an imbalance in their lives. Unsteady. They're unsteady. Don't know where to go, what to do. And, and then they comply. They comply. And it just makes it even worse. That's what I see. Yeah. yeah, well, that's a great way to put it. And I think you put that very, very well. It's true because, you know, if people didn't comply, this thing would go away. If everyone just said, no, we're not, we're going yeah. to work, we're going to school, like we're going wherever, just right. it would all end. We're not wearing this stupid face diaper. Like it would all end. But it's because 95% of people just go along with it or even higher, probably, um, that they're, they just keep cranking us a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more uh yeah. and when you have a very you know not even one percent chance of dying from it it's like but my my city my city is completely brainwashed i mean they are so brainwashed here massachusetts is brainwashed my city is brainwashed i mean they are just gonzo you know i mean they they fall into it because it's you know it's a liberal loony bird lefty communist state and you know whatever whatever the governor says, whatever they what health health people say, they okay yeah whatever you want us to do yeah we'll take that vaccine. I have a friend of mine he'll he'll take every vaccine that comes down the line. I'm saying what are you, are you buying? I mean it's like crazy. Yeah, yeah. And then I mean, uh, you know when when they take the vaccine and get sick, they'll be like, man, just imagine if I didn't take this vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where they get you. You, you know what I'm saying? The, the, you you take the vaccine, you get sick, and just think. Well, just think if you didn't take the vaccine, right. you'd probably be dead. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? But people think I, that I way. Laugh. Yeah. I, I don't know. It, it's it's. I don't know what's going to happen with the vaccine. I'm not worried about it. I don't. It doesn't even phase me. You know, whatever, whatever they want to do. I mean, it's going to take quite a bit of force to get me to take something. I mean, I'm not going to take it, but I'm just saying, you, you're going to have to tie me down to do it. I, I mean, if you're going to do it. I mean, the way I feel, the way I feel now, I'm half dead as it is. You know, I got a lot of health issues, but you know, I don't think the vaccine's going to help me. That's for sure. <laughs> well, you, you know, know, one of the things that we like to say on our show is like, we're not trying to make you fearful. We're trying to empower you to look into these things and be aware of where the, what the agenda is, and so you can, you know, watch out for 
uh, the coming roadblocks. But, you know, yeah, don't, definitely don't be fearful because fear is what kills people. The, it eats away at you. It, it, th- cancer survives and thrives on fear and hatred and, uh, and, and stuff like that. So, you know, you don't want to be fearful. You don't want to hold resentment towards people. You want to, you, you, you want to just let that stuff go every day as much as you can. Because, uh, yeah, you will have a much shorter life if you don't. Yeah, well, I, I agree with that. I, I don't, I don't fall into this fear mongering. Um, I, I even, I got rid of my cable TV. I mean, that, I got so sick of the news. Okay, and cable TV. I got rid of my cable TV, and now it makes it harder because I have to go looking for stuff to watch. But now I'm more selective in what I watch. OK, and, and I go to certain you know, places where I can watch videos that I, I want to watch or watch documentaries or watch this, um, you know, and, and that's that's what I do. So, yeah, it's a little harder to to live if you, you know, if you use the TV as a medium to, to learn. But I, I don't feel like I'm, I'm sitting in front of a meal and eating crap. <laughs> you yeah. know, I, I feel a lot better, you know, not not watching all that stuff. And also, it makes me read more. You know, you know I, I, I'll do more reading. I have, I have so much information to read. I can, I can just sit back. Uh, that, if I ever was thrown in prison and I had the books, I'd be happy. Yeah. I'd just read all the day. You know, it wouldn't phase me at all. You know? Yeah. I wonder, though, you know, and I never looked into this, but I wonder if they, do they allow controversial stuff into prisons, though? Well, that, that's another story. I, I don't know. Yeah. You know? See, I mean, I... I I, I kind of wonder, you know, they'd, they'd probably say, uh, you know, look at the libraries. The libraries won't even take our books. Yeah. <laughs> so if it's not in the library, I don't know how, how we would get it. I, I really don't know. It's a good question. A friend of mine, Alfred Schaefer, you know him, Alfred Schaefer? No. Uh... Well, Alf, Alfred Schaefer, he's in jail in Germany for the Holocaust issue uh, five years. And that's a question I'm going to have to ask. We write, you know, we, we communicate and he writes to us. And I'll just have to ask him what type of books does he get to the you read? Um, now, does he, did, do they allow phone calls over there? I, I don't know. I've never, I've never really. No, I don't know. I, he never said anything. Okay. About calling. You should we ask because them. that would be a good show. Oh, I mean, to talk to him? Yeah, to talk to him. Oh, they, they no, they wouldn't. You gotta understand. He's in jail for the topic <laughs> that we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe you, know? you could, maybe you could do it like we're just reading his uh, letters out loud. Well, we do, we do that. We get see if you are you on our email list? No, I'm not. I need to okay, I need I'm, to get on I, it. I can put you on an email list, and then you'll uh, you know I got your email, so we can we can you can see what we're doing with the revisionist community. We got about 300 people on the list, and so Diane she she puts everything together, the videos, the links, articles, or whatever. And we send them out periodically, and that, and then you'll know what's going on in our neighborhood, you know. Cool. Um, if you if you wanna if you wanna get more on Alfred Schaefer, he has a sister named Monica, Monica Schaefer, and if you ever get in touch with her, we I can I can get you in touch with her. She went to Germany, okay, and she got arrested. She's from Canada. She went to Germany, she got arrested, and they put her in jail for about a year. What? Yeah. So you might want to talk to her about what happened with her. Man. All right, so we'll I'll So get was you in she touch with she her was too. in jail in Germany, right? And What's she was that? a Canadian citizen, they put her in jail. Yes. Oh, she was my a goodness. Canadian citizen because she did a she did a video about the Holocaust. And they used that against her. When she was visiting her brother in Germany, he didn't, he wasn't in jail yet, I don't think. But anyway, she goes to Germany and they and they they arrested her, and she was in jail for a year. Imagine, wow. I I mean I can't even believe it. I mean you lose everything. So Monica everything. has a great story. Wow, yeah, I bet she does. Yeah, Monica Schaefer. I'll get you. I'll get you some information on her. Now, is her brother? Does he live in Germany, or yeah, does he live in he's Canada? In jail. Okay. Yeah, you, Alfred is in, is is in prison in Germany now. Yeah, but did he he, he reside in you resided in Germany when he got arrested? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. I got gotcha. you. 
Wow. Yeah. He he put out some really heavy duty stuff about the Holocaust. And I don't I don't doubt that if he gets out, they'll just retry him for other things. You know, have you ever have you ever heard of Ursula Haverback? Yes, I have heard of her. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's all the same type of situation. You know, she just got out, and I heard she is is going to go back to court again, and they'll probably want to send her back to jail again. I mean, Germany is really nuts. Yeah. Well, Canada is the same way. It's illegal in Canada to talk about it. Yeah. Oh, it's it's bad news. You know, bad news. And so, that's all coming here as well. Yeah, right, right. And that's what people don't understand. Like right now, everybody thinks, oh, we're protected by the Constitution, blah, 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 blah. But at some point in time, it's all going to fall around us, too. I mean, I, I got no doubt about it. I mean, I'm, I don't worry about it, though. I mean, whatever happens, happens, you know. Yeah. I, I'm not going to worry. So basically, uh, I'll try to get you that information. Uh, you know, you, you, I'll try to get people to get to your, your bitch huge site. And uh, we'll get you in the loop with, with our revisionist stuff so you can see all the people that we deal with. Because um, there's a lot of people you might want to talk to, too. Um, you know, uh, Jan Lamprick, like I said, he'd be, he'd be a great. I wonder, I know he's got to go to court, so I, I really don't know. He might, he might have a, um, he might not be able to talk to people because of a gag order, too. I, I don't know. But, um, hmm. you know, you, you, could, you could take a look at his, his website and see what he's doing. And you can get in touch with him, too. Uh, you can do what you want, you know, whatever you think, you know. All right. Well, I appreciate that. Now, I, I do have a question since you are um, the veteran on Bitchu. Can you make videos unlisted on there? I, I think I, th I, th I think you can, yeah. Okay. I think you can have it so they're, they're private. Okay. It's because the thing is, is like I wanted to upload a video and then release it at a certain time. I was just wondering if that's possible to do on that channel. I, I, think, I think you can. I mean, I'll have to look at it some more, but... I'm I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, yeah, I'll look into that. Yeah. But I appreciate you you coming and asking me some questions, get to know me a little bit. It's nice to get to know you a little bit. Yeah. I'm I'm happy to do it. I'm I'm really happy to see that you're there, you know, doing as much as you do. I mean, I, I didn't realize you did as much as you did, you know, and, and you're doing quite a bit. And uh that's why we gotta get people you'll see, once we get you on bit shoot. Uh, hopefully, I, I'll, I'll put the link to your your site and everything. Hopefully, people will start coming over. Because there's some really heavy-duty people on Bitchu that there's some people with thousands of subscribers. You know, once you get in with these people, they, then other people will come to your site. Yeah, so it's just a matter of time. I I'm recently got on Bitchu because, you know, I should have gotten on a year ago. But for some reason, just YouTube was going great. I had no strikes a year ago. I was just like living it up over there, not thinking about, yeah. the, you know, the end was coming. <laughs> but it's, yeah. it's it's here now. It's coming. Yeah. I got two strikes on my main channel and one strike on my backup channel. It's yeah, just that, inevitable. That's the games they play. They, they play the strike game, and then all of a sudden, one day, it will be gone. Yep. Just like that, I'm telling you. Yeah. I had 10 channels on YouTube. Whoa. I, I I had after they took one down, I opened up. I kept opening them up, opening them up, and every you know channel would have three or four hundred videos on it, and they just kept getting me and getting me and getting me. Just like just like Facebook, it, same thing with Facebook. Twitter, Twitter deleted me on Twitter. Um, I'm on it with another name, but it's not my name. Um, Facebook. Once once I got rid of my name, I used other names that they still come, come came after me. I don't know. You know, there's not going to be any end to it. They're going to just keep following me wherever I go. And BitChute, I'm sure they'll come after that, too. Well, I just wish one of these platforms would become more mainstream. And I know it hasn't because it costs so much money and because they're censoring. Um, I think one of the biggest reasons why people don't go over to these channels is because there's no app. And so you can't really watch oh. it on your phone. And because these app stores are completely uh, banning these channels from uh, having apps. And right. uh, they're also stopping their payment processing. And, uh, you know, they just have a horrible time raising money to do this kind of stuff. 
Yeah. And so you feel for them and it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to build these platforms. So they are a little glitchy, but uh, you know, I really hope people support them, head over there and uh, you know, watch the content on those channels. Yeah. What I do uh, about the app situation, like my bit shoot, I just put the URL of my site that gets me right to the main site. So you don't need an app just on your desktop on your phone. Yeah. Just put just put the 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 you know the URL and you'll see it it will show up. Yeah. And that's the only thing you can do. Yeah. There's no app. Yeah. Yeah. But Well, I think I think we covered quite a bit there, Paul. You did, you know, I I'm really happy you know, when I first met you, I said, boy, I really want to know more about you. <laughs> you know, forget about me. I, I, want, I want to know about what you're doing and, and the things you're involved in and, 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 and how you're doing all this stuff. And, I mean, I'm very happy to see you, you're doing what you're doing. And I'm going to support you, you know, in any way I can, you know. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Jim. Thanks so much for, I guess, me coming on your show and you coming on mine. Yeah. Appreciate it. It, it was good the, the way this worked out. Really good. All right. Well, I, I hope you have a good day. God bless. Okay, thank you now. All take, right. Take care. Bye. Bye now. All right, guys. Well, that Ooh. was Jim Rizzoli. That was a good interview. It was just laid back, fun. Um, I appreciate him coming on. And, you know, I, I, I really want to encourage you guys, if you're listening to this on YouTube, I am going to set this video to private as soon as it's done. Um head over to our bit shoot channels guys i'm going to put the links in the description but if i set it to private you can't really get to it after the video so go check out a previous video and uh do it there but i am definitely we're going to air this on our backup channel but then we're going to immediately set it to private and it'll be logged forever on bit shoot and brighteon and ugtube and make sure you head over to Rumble and Parlor as well. You can find us on those sites as well. But I think that's pretty much the show here, guys. Uh, it's really it's really cool to kind of see this channel progressing and getting more and more. Uh, we have a lot of great videos that are coming on. I love the thumbnails. It really makes the channel stand out. And so um, we're going to keep releasing as much content as we can over here uh, this is not content that can be found anywhere else and so um, this is not on our YouTube channels since my entire channel with thousands, hundreds of videos I, I, I don't know how many was uh, uh, it's completely set to private right now and so um, you know time short here on the, this channel and so thank you guys for your support your donations I really appreciate the um, Romans Road app for sponsoring this episode, even though they might not want to sponsor this episode, and uh, a bunch of other people for supporting us through the website. Uh, you know, of course, don't forget about the huge giveaway we're doing, guys. I want to remind you one more time about that as well. All you have to do is sign up to our Patreon account, and you'll be entered in for a chance to win these items. We got Plandemic. Uh, this shirt will get you whatever size you want. And, of course, we got these trading cards that we produce, all these uh, DVDs and books, which are uh, great material for you guys. Um, you can give them away as get Christmas presents or, uh, you know, it'll be my Christmas present to you. But, um, guys, head over to these alternative sites. Um, and support us. We are not, we are totally deplatformed from these major sites. I'm no longer monetized. Uh, I depend on you guys for your support, for your um, uh, donations through the website and through Patreon. So just a dollar a month, guys. It'll take you five minutes to get signed up. I really appreciate it if you would. Um, and, you know, if everyone watching right now would head over to Patreon and sign up, you know, that would just make all the difference in the world for me and my family. And so I really encourage you guys to do that. You can also check out our store, framingtheworld.com. we got a lot of different products on the store. We have the new James Perloff book, COVID-19 and the Agendas to Come. We also are carrying a ton of different books that you see right here and DVDs. Uh, we have DNA Science and the Jewish Bloodline, a book by Tex Mars. 
This is that COVID-19 book. We're giving away all these um, on Saturday the 28th. So on Saturday the 28th, that show, make sure you tune in to that show. We're going to be doing a live giveaway, uh, well, pre-recorded giveaway of, of all this stuff. And, of course, we, you can get Psychopaths, another book by Tex Mars yesterday, today, and tomorrow. These are great books. Of course, we have uh, some DVDs here. The AIC Conference. We got the Massa Conference. We got the Red Hot Preaching Conference. And we have the new IFB Soul Winning Conference. So a lot of different uh, materials that were given away. And a Series 1 trading cards. You cannot buy this anywhere, guys. This is from my secret, secret stash that is completely sold out. These are 2018 trading cards that are very rare. And I would actually encourage you to never open this box if you get it. But uh, we're going to be giving away those things. We also have the Series 2 cards, which we have a ton of these. If you want to get one, they're on sale right now on the store, framingtheworld.com. They're fun cards that... Uh, that we have on the site and so this has been a long episode i appreciate you guys tuning in and staying with us hope you learned something about me about uh what we do over here and if you're a new subscriber i appreciate you and if you're new to uh uh bit you make sure you head over there and leave a comment guys i want you to go to bit you and just leave a comment for me let me know that you're there you appreciate the content that always makes me feel better Appreciate it, guys. Hope you have a good day, and God bless. Howdy there, folks. My name's the Bacon Bandit, and this is my trusty gun. Thank you so much for subscribing to Framing the World. Make sure to share this episode on your social media account. Also, follow the links in the description and subscribe to the backup channels. You can also support us by buying something from our store, Framing the World. Thanks for watching. Night.